Hi everyone! Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use PlayPro as a lightweight player and transcoder for ProRes RAW material. So let's get right into it and load a couple of ProRes RAW files. In most cases you want to enable the Select Folder option here to import a complete folder of clips. If you want to import separate single clips you might want to make sure to disable the Collapse option here so sequentially numbered clips do not show up as one. Note that this is just a viewing option for the browser though, nothing more. Now that we have our clips imported we can jump into the player and play through them. For those who want to see their clips just as they are, without any color management, I recommend to first go to the settings and the monitors menu. In here set all your outputs to source and PlayPro will show you the clips without any other color transform whatsoever applied. Let's close the settings menu and get back to our footage. If we swipe to the right we can bring up the metadata stack to check on all the metadata in the source files. Like what camera they were recorded with, the color temperature or used lens model. Up here we can bring up the scopes to check our levels and make sure that nothing is clipped. Down here in the QuickTime menu we have all the debiring options for ProRes RAW. The color space, EOTF and also ISO gain, Kelvin and tint controls which all apply pre debayer we can change these on a clip by clip basis, but in this quick tutorial we'll just leave them at their defaults, which are also being determined by the metadata. The other menus here allow us to dial in framing, color or load lookup tables if we wanted to burn those into our transcoded clips. In our case however we want to render the files as pure as the Atomos Ninja 5 recorded them, so we'll just leave everything as is, switch back to the construct tab and hit the render button. In here everything is pretty much as straightforward as it gets. We first select our whole timeline to render instead of just a selection of clips. Next, and this is very important, we select to render same as source. This means all clips will be rendered at their individual source resolution, frame rate and aspect. Even if we have mixed resolutions and such in our timeline. Next, let's choose our export codec. Since we're transcoding for further color grading and VFX, we will go with ProRes 4x4XQ which gives the highest level of quality in 12-bit. Note that Play Pro also allows to encode Apple licensed ProRes on Windows. Also let's not forget to enable all audio channels necessary. Lastly we set the output folder and make sure that use source name is enabled so the rendered clips will have the same name as the original ProRes RAW clips. Hit OK and Play Pro will start rendering. We can now go ahead, create more timelines and work on other things while Play Pro renders in the background. Once the render is finished we can just re-import the rendered files to quickly make sure that all clips got rendered, the metadata is there and the color is correct. Now what you might encounter is that the metadata we forwarded into the new ProRes files might not get read by the target application that you import them to. In this case you can also export an ALE file from PlayPro which just transfers the metadata of all clips to Avid or Premiere for instance. And if you wish to have the metadata in a more human readable form you can simply export a PDF report which shows all the information of the ProRes RAW clips nicely made up in a table. That's it for a quick tutorial on how to transcode ProRes RAW material on macOS and Windows.